My name is Eduardo Garcia. I'm a professional chef, avid hunter, fisherman, and wild foods forager. A few years ago, I nearly lost my life doing what I love. Since then, I've doubled down on my mission to make food an integral part of every adventure. This is my hungry life. My first job as a yacht chef, fresh out of culinary school, I traveled a lot. You're gonna pick something up from everybody. Hillary and Oliver both, the world-class, well, well-traveled fishermen. But this is really one of my first saltwater trips. It adds to that layer of adventure when I'm not always the one sharing and showing, but saying, I wanna learn from you. You know, my dad's a fourth generation fisherman from just up the coast. So there's a comfort I feel here with the people, the smells, the food, the flavors. It's like getting a hug when I come back down here. Señor, ¿cómo estás? Gracias por la ayuda. Hasta luego, señor. Te pasa bien. Sour orange. It's super bitter and sour, like a lime almost. No, we use it in the Bahamas for like conch salad and stuff. You can't buy it in America. Plátanos maduros. Yeah, you hold it. Yeah. Need, does it need a few days? Yeah. Chile molido. Woo! Straight habanero? Yeah. Throw it in. You can tell it's packing major oh heat. Wet cement. Flats fishing, the focus is on kind of the big four. Bonefish, permit, tarpon, and snook. Your permit are probably the pinnacle for a saltwater fly fisherman. So the tradition down here is that when you catch your first permit, if you catch your first permit, you eat a scorpion. For me, coming down for a permit is a little bit of unfinished business. I've tried before, I made a lot of mistakes. You can just see and feel it happening. You got it. Following, 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 then bam! The wrong species comes out and smacks a fly in the face. There's fish on it when I try to pick it up. Snapper or jack or something that you can do everything right a hundred times in a row and it's just not good enough. It's probably the only fish in the world that every single fly fisherman can tell you how many to the number that they've caught. There was a sunken tree and we could see fish under it. I figure my chances are slim to none and uh, you know, I must have done something right. <laughs> Eso es un trofeo. We just got a permit in the boat. Wow. Sabes que no importa el tamaño, solo el pescado. Part of fly fishing is you have chosen to hamper yourself because it's more about the process than the catching. If you were fishing purely to catch, you probably would not be a fly fisherman. The casting itself is very methodical and relaxing, and you get in this great rhythm, and it requires just enough thought to kind of take your mind away from everything else, but not so much that it's taxing. I came away without a permit, but now I'm doing things that I've never been able to do before. As a fly fisherman, you know, I don't prepare a lot of fish because where I work, it's catch and release, and we're fishing for native protected species. You balance the general ethos of a catch and release mentality with trying to put something in the cooler. We actually found some pretty good barracuda fishing. Oliver, yeah. looking like about 10 o'clock, little bit left. He was too far away to reach with a fly rod. Yeah, it took it. He took hard. I mean, that's how they eat. They're fast. They sit on the edge and they dart in. Let's load them up. Do some steaks, some ceviche. <laughs> you know, I make it a point to try to surround myself with passionate people. These are the sweet ones, man. Yeah, that's the right size. Well, they love what they do. They love sharing it. Can you eat that? Yeah. Right now? Mm-hmm. It's yummy. That makes them fun to be around. Tastes like butter. We normally cook it. <laughs> 
super tender and soft, so we're gonna cook those in butter and garlic. For somebody like me who loves outdoor activities, it seems like I'm missing this piece of food. That's not great. That's no, amazing. Hibiscus flower. So if you've been in Mexico and you had agua fresca, they called it Jamaica. From the really wholesome aspect, gathering it locally and fixing it and sharing it. You're grabbing what you know every yep. good Mexicana needs to grab. Todo. One of my favorite dishes is fried barracuda steaks with a ton of garlic. Do it. You make a super spicy habanero salsa. It smells super good. And I'll throw it right in. Hold oh, nice. one side okay. nice and brown. Flip it, do the other side nice and brown. We're gonna take the whole halved onions and whole tomatoes and throw them right on the grill. Okay. Making a point to share a meal is my way of making sure there's that constant reminder. Just roughly cut them, and those will be the beginning of those pickled onions. This is important. This is stuff we can't forget to do. Set up a little bar. Wait, wait. So that's not a sour orange? <laughs> that's a mandarin, man. I can't believe the mandarins look just like a sour orange. <laughs> it's spicy. This is spicy. Okay, lobster. Yeah. Look at that big old thing. And that's the soft shell one? Hell yeah. One of the most exciting things for me will always be the meal at the end of the day because the meal is the thing that holds the whole day. Lupe, the, the cook here at the lodge, is gonna show us how to make handmade tortillas. I kind of just was thinking there'd be this big meal we make at the end, but it's been this cumulative gathering of information that's been invaluable. Is that your best one yet? You don't pressure me. And I didn't expect that. I've never really learned how to identify some of those smells and sights and colors. I've baked them before, but always out of the peel. I've never actually cooked them in the peel. It's just everything seemed a little bit more vibrant. Maravilloso. Just knowing that we were going to be taking that food and doing something super cool with it. Amigos, ven a la mesa. I think it may be the moment. What do you think? I think it is. Well, that, that'll do it. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help. I like how he's going to prepare I think that's for your tequila shot. Thanks for putting me on that fish. Here, here. It's a treat tonight to kind of turn the hospitality note on its nose and say, hey, invite your family, you know, bring, bring all the guides out and let's just cook a huge meal with all these fish that we've caught and kept throughout the last few days. We all exist on those same elemental needs and wants and desires to be healthy, to be happy, to feel community and family and some type of connection with your purpose here. That's how you get invited back.